Hello, wonderful people of the Switch Force community. Gabe here, and today we are going to check out Dragon Quest Builders. The game originally came out in 2016. Uh, it is a Minecraft-like version of Dragon Quest. I never played it, but it has really good reviews on Metacritic. It's at over an 80, I believe an 83 if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, and the demo is out now. The game is coming out soon to Nintendo Switch, and we are going to check out Chapter 1 here. It's time to design your character. Okay, we can go male or female. We'll go with male. No reason. Uh, hair, um, you can change the color of your hair. I don't know how deep the customization is. Uh, I do like white hair, so we'll go with the closest thing to white, which should be this. Uh, skin color, you can of course change it to your heart's desire. Uh, it doesn't really matter for the purposes of this video. We'll go with a with a light brown here, which is hopefully similar to my skin tone. I don't know. I don't want to talk about skin tone a whole lot. Eyes, I don't know. Let's black eyes for no reason. Again, not super deep customization here. Here's a little character. He looks very, very cute. I like him. All right. So for name, we will of course go with Gabe because that is me. I remember a ton of people really enjoying this game when it came out. Are we happy with the character? Yes, I am. And uh, I, I want to see why. Uh, of course, this kind of looks like Minecraft, so you're building things. It's in the name. We're a builder. Oh, but there's also a story, it seems like. Let's see. So, thou art come before me at last. I am the Dragon Lord Master of Masters, King of Kings. Long have I awaited this moment. All right, Dragon Lord. Very original name there. Come, thy rightful place at my side. Do so, and I will grant unto thee dominion over half this world. That doesn't sound like a bad deal. Thou wishes not for half the world? No, we don't. Uh, wilt thou not reconsider? Probably not. Tis an, on, uh, tis an offer few would refuse. We are one of the few. All right, very little dialogue. It's kind of just Dragon Lord being evil. Gabe, at long last, I have found you. You've been looking for me? A single foolish choice has plunged this hallowed land into darkness. Uh, beneath... Okay. <laughs> it says, beneath the benighed skies, my children crawled as insects on the earth, powerless, powerlessly awaiting their own destruction. Only by the power contained within you may this ruined world be rebuilt. Arise, my child. Your destiny awaits. Getting some Zelda vibes here. Of course it's not. Ooh, we're asleep. All right, definitely getting some Zelda vibes here. We're waking up. We kind of look like, not really Link, but whatever. We'll go with it. Gabe, my child, you have finally awoken. Do you remember who you are? Do you remember what you are? Sort of. I see. So you have no recollection. This is Breath of the Wild. This is totally Breath of the Wild. So you have no recollection of before. No matter. Indeed, perhaps it is for the best. After so long a slumber, no doubt your body will still be weak. Arise, my child, and see what you can move freely. See that you can move freely. All right, so we are being taught how to move. All right, so use the left stick to move around. Okay, we can do that. Boom, 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 boom. Can we jump? Yeah, we can jump. All right. Thank goodness, all seems to be well. You can fulfill your role. Gabe, my child, I have awoken you that you might perform a vital task. A task upon which the fate of this very world may... What? I do not doubt that you might feel a little poorly, but this is not the fate of the world more important than... Oh my poor child, it is true. You are nearly at death's door. It seems your lengthy slumber has robbed you of your strength. Here, my child, take these white petals. You can use them to restore your vitality. Let's go get that. Alright, so we can go get these white petals. Good. Gabe, you have been blessed with a special power. The power to combine raw materials to build items anew. Uh, you can work at the tree stump. Uh, use the white petals you gathered to prepare some healing cream. Let's do it. All right, so you can use the materials you collect to build new items. Try using them nearby. Okay, you just told us that. Okay, so it says that we can build a healing room. So, boom, we're building. Thank you. Wonderful. You have made your first creation. Gabe, my child, you have a power shared by none other in this world. The power to build things with uh, from new raw materials. Sorry, I'm trying to add a little, a little drama to it with my voice. I'm not great at it, though. Apologies. Now, use the healing cream you created to tend to your wounds. Press X uh, to use tools and items. Okay. So, you can use an item by selecting it and uh, pressing X. 
Okay. So we can move through the slots with the D-pad and use X to eat. Fantastic. We are no longer at Death's Door. Do you feel better now? I see the color has returned to your cheeks. Thanks. Those are very pretty brown that I chose. Uh, you created the healing cream with your own two hands. However, the men and women who inhabit this world have lost that power of creation. Gabe, my child, a sacred duty rests upon your young shoulders. You must... Do something. Well, yes. I quite understand that you wish to leave this place, but first, you must learn of your... Very well. I will, I will show you how to build a path out of this crypt. Alright, first we gotta take the broken branch. Let's do that. Well done, thank you. Uh, within that humble broken branch sleeps a uh, cypress stick that... The simplest of weapons, excuse me. Approach the tree stump as before and use it to craft a cypress stick. So we just turn that one branch into a cypress stick? That's all it takes? Alright, we'll go with it. Congratulations, my child. You have created your first weapon. Mankind once made tools and used them to build a thriving civilization. And as all great civilizations do, so too they built weapons. But now only you have the power to build such things. Gabe, my child, you have been entrusted with a divine mission to... Hmm. I can well imagine you are eager to see the world outside, but would you not rather learn more of... No, I don't want to learn. I want to go out and I want to build. Uh, well, to build a path out of here, first you must equip the weapon you have made. Press A to open the main menu, and to place the cypress stick in your hand. Alright. Alright, so... Items... Er, equipment... Cypress stick? Equip. Fantastic. Uh, weapons are not only used for, for fighting monsters, they can also serve to gather materials. The power to break objects apart and reduce them to raw materials uh, is yours and yours alone. Ever since this world was plunged into darkness and mankind lost its power, they have awaited the coming uh, with the uh, one with the ability to create. Sorry. Gabe, my child. I, I'm a child. I am. <coughs> the dreams, the hopes, the very fates of the people of this world rest on your shoulders. If this land is ever again to see the light, you must fulfill your sacred duty and... It seems like we don't care. Gabe, you're not asleep. Yeah, we definitely don't care. We're falling asleep. Uh, sigh. Perhaps it is best we continue this conversation outside. Yeah, man. No one wants to hang around at a crypt. That, that, that's, that's not how we want to do things. Uh, to build a path out of this place first, you must break apart and collect nearby earth. Alright, so uh, press Y. To break things apart and turn them into materials, smash the earth around you and collect 10 blocks. Okay. There we go. We got ourselves a block. Oh, okay. We can just hit as many of them as we can at the same time. All right. That works. Is that 10? Yeah. Well done, Gabe. That should be enough. Press X to place the blocks of the earth on the ground in front of you. I have marked a location for you in red. Place a block of earth there to build a stairway and escape from this tomb. Let's go. Okay, you can select with the D-pad once again. Great. Here, let's unequip it just in case. Wait, can we also break this stuff? Oh, we can examine. No, let me, yeah. Someone has uh, scratched the message into the wall beneath the chains, but the stones are so worn the writing is illegible. Okay. All right, so let's equip and we are gonna place. So, boom. Bam, that's all it took. Now we can get out, okay. And we got block. Wait, should we get more blocks? Right? Maybe we should. I mean, there's no reason not to. Although, I don't think it matters. I don't know. We'll just get to 20, and then we'll leave. I don't know. Well, whatever. 21. Doesn't matter. Okay, I don't know if there's, like, weapon degradation and stuff, though. Oh, there is. I, I can clearly see it be, uh, beneath my stick. Sorry about that. I didn't see it. Um, I've never played this game, <laughs> in case you couldn't tell. So, uh, it came on uh, PlayStation 4, and it might have come to PC. I'm not sure. But I do remember it being on PlayStation 4. Uh, that is what I remember, and I remember the good reviews, and I got to keep building st a stair. Uh, here, a stairwell. There we go. That's what we want. Nope. Wrong button. There we go. Yes! Okay, we can just open it. Good! Alright, we're out! That's cool! 
Well done, Gabe. You have found your way back to the outside world. When your eyes adjust to the brightness, you will see the world of Alf... What's that? Alfgrad? Alfgrad? Alfgrad, I'm pretty sure. Uh, before you. Light was lost to this land long ago, and now darkness reigns eternal. You guys know that I'm terrible with names. I apologize. Uh, the people who in inhabit this somber um, realm once had the power to create until it was wretch uh, wrenched from them. Without it, their culture crumbled into dust. Gabe, my child, you have been entrusted with a monumentous mission. Only by the power you hold, the power to create, can this world be rebuilt and the people of uh, Alifgrad rise once again. Or rise once again. I hope I'm saying that name right. <laughs> I beg your pardon? What? Do you mean you don't get it? Eh. Forgive me, my child. After having only just awoken from a long slumber, this must all come as quite a shock. A little bit. Let us adopt a more simple approach. Use the power of creation that dwells within you and rebuild the world however you see fit. No doubt <laughs> you will fulfill your duty in the course of doing so. So too will you come to learn the, the tragedy that befell this world, the role that you play in its salvation. I am Rubus, Rubus, the uh, the spirit of the land. Go forth, my child, and know that I can watch over you always. Know that I do watch over you always. Excuse me. Oh, and Gabe, there's one last thing that you must know. You are not a hero. Oh. If nothing else, remember this. Okay, so I'm not a hero. You don't tell me what to do, game. I might be a hero. You don't know that. So here we are in uh, Can Cantlin Plains? Cantlin. Pretty sure that's what it says. A ravaged realm. We see enemies. We see other stuff that are not enemies. Uh, the land you see before you was once known as Cantlin. Long, long ago, a bustling city thrived here, uh, ringed around with stout fortifications. But all was destroyed in the relentless attack by the monsters. Uh, scarcely a trace remains of its former greatness. Gabe, my child, you must use the power within you to rebuild the city of Cantlin to its former glory. This will be the first step on your journey to make Alifgrad rise once again. To this end, I bestow upon uh, I bestow unto you. I thought it said upon uh, unto you a gift. What's our gift? Yo, we can glide. I like that this kind of has a story though. I didn't. I mean. Sort of. It doesn't take itself too serious. Uh, take this banner, hope in hand, and seek the source of the light you see before you. Even as the darkness closed in around them, the men and women of Cantlin flew this flag to the bitter end. Uh, plant the banner in this land once more, that its uh, bountiful light might serve as a symbol of Cantlin's restoration. Now go, make haste for the pillar of light. Okay, like I was saying, I kind of like that there's like... I don't know, story might not be the word, but th there's there's n narrative, there's like some narration. Uh, beware of heights, if you fall a long way, you'll hurt yourself when you hit the ground. When you're coming down from a mountain, take care not- Okay, we'll be more careful. I had no idea that there was fall damage. Okay, we can reset the camera. We can also have a bird's eye view. Oh my god, this is Minecrafty. I've never played Minecraft in my life either, so this is very strange for me. Uh, can we just- yeah, we, we can just break everything apart. Um, again, I don't know to what end. I, I, I'm sure you have to have some creative process to, to do certain things in this game. I don't know. I, I've never played it, like I said, and I'm completely new to it, so forgive me. I see a monster. Uh, maybe we'll go try to attack it. But yeah, uh, it's, I, I'm, it's you gather materials and you build things so far, right? Uh, there seems to be objective-based things as well, if this is any indication. I mean, it's telling us to take the this banner to this light, which we'll do. Uh, along the way, though, let's see if we can... Wait, should we fight the monsters? Yeah, let's see. Let's, see. let's try. Oh, oh gosh. Oh my god. You guys are way stronger than I thought. Okay, okay. Ah, rah. There we go. Do, do they drop? Uh, they do not drop materials. I see an apple though. I wonder if I can eat apples. Ooh, it's a, pl it's a plum berry. It's not an apple. Okay. Uh. I'm sure we can craft. There's a lot of crafting in the game. Here, let's just take this over here, though. I, I keep getting myself sidetracked. Ooh, let's see. Build. Um, all right, so I need a coarse cloth for that. Okay. Can build a bonfire. We won't. All right. We'll, we'll wait on that. Oh, we got to equip it. Fantastic. This is cool, though. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I hope there's more objective-based stuff like this, and it's not just build, because that that I'm not I'm not into just building for no reason. Um, a warm and soothing light spreads all around. 
People near and far will be attracted by the banner's beckoning light. Look, my child, here's one already. Someone's here. What's up? Who's here? All right, so planting your flag. When you plant your banner of hope, the area around it will become your base. The more your base develops, the more the meter will fill up in the top left corner of the screen. Okay. Oh, and we can save. We have an empty slot. This is, of course, just a demo, so keep that in mind. Um, someone's here, though. What's up, dude? Hi. What's this funny flag doing here? There's something special about this place. It's so bright and inviting. My name's Pippa. What's yours? Okay, if a resident in your, of your town has an exclamation mark over their head, it means they have something to ask you. Talk to them and see what they want. Ooh, okay. So, so quests! Uh, what's that? You're the one who planted that flag here? Uh, who are you? Where did you come from? I'm not a hero. I know that. You don't remember. The goddess told you to come here. So you got amnesia and you're hearing voices. Eh, you're not crazy. Uh, that's not suspicious in the slightest. Yeah, she has the same the same sentiment. Oh, but this place is just so lovely. Can I live here? Yeah, why not? You're not my roommate. Or base bait. Mate. Bait. Eh, eh, mate. Base <laughs> Basemate is what I was trying to say. Uh, Gabe, my child, even with the power that dwells within you, you cannot rebuild Kentland alone. Good, help me. Your first step in rebuilding the city must be to house those who join you in living here. Okay, little remains of this dilapidated house. Uh, save the door. Repair it by filling in the holes in the walls with earth. Got it. You can place blocks above you by holding L and below you by holding R. Okay. Hold out X and you will place one block on top of another. Hold it down while moving to place many blocks in succession. Let's see. Uh, one block on top of another. Hold it down. Okay. While moving in place. While moving to place. Okay. Got it. Take this knowledge and these blocks of earth and make this ruined house livable once more. Alright. So we got five blocks. Ready? Well, we're at 57 now. So thanks. I keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> So let's equip those once again. Yo, can you, can, can I, yeah, there. I'm fixing the house. Huh, it's a little, there, uh, let me, yeah, target that. Go there. There we go. We, uh, the house has no roof, but whatever. You got yourself a house. That's incredible. Uh, the walls were all full of holes, but now they're as good as new. Huh? You fixed it with dirt. I thought you were just a weird boy with voices in his head, aren't we all? Uh, but you completely fixed that broken down old house. You must have some kind of special power. Here, take these. What are you giving me? I found them on my way here. You can have them for fixing the house for me. Thank you. Yes, white pedals, and we'll be able to heal because we took some damage when we fought those little bat looking thingies. Let's read. There's a message written on the signpost. The monsters always attack from this direction. Uh, we must build a wall here to defend the city. It looks like the message was written long, long ago. Somebody must have lived here once. Sure. And we'll... Uh, I don't want to read you again. Here, we'll place that there for no reason. And then we'll place a few more here for no reason. Well, the post is there, so maybe I can do it from the other side? We're gonna just rebuild here, also, just because, I don't know, safety, yo. Oh, didn't. I mean, okay, there's not enough space. I'll probably hit that right now. Okay. Speaking of, I believe I can, yeah, let's break this rock so we can fill that in. Okay. I mean, sort of protected, right? Alright, let's go craft the, the thing to heal myself, and then I see some enemies there. I don't understand the point of defeating enemies right now. She has another quest also. We're, we're gonna take a look at that. But first, let's build. Alright, Pippa, you gotta move. Thanks. Alright, so let's build the healing, the healing cream. That's about it. Alright, so we're gonna use that. Great. All right, Pippa, what you got? You must have some kind of special power to be able to fix up that old house like that. How did you do it? I can't tell you. It's a secret. 
What? You've got the power to build new things. Well, we told her. What does build mean? Building is... Inexplicable. Uh, Gay, my child, you remember what I told you long ago. The people of this land lost the power of creation. It is your duty to help them regain this power. Anyway, I really appreciate you fixing the house like this, but it's not much with you, uh, without some kind of light inside. Uh, but I can't see any torches lying around here. I'll build one. Besides your banner of hope, you will find uh, uh, Mason's workstation. We can build a torch. Take these materials and use them to construct a torch and uh, re reveal... Revel, reveal, reveal to this girl the fruits of your labors. Wait, is there romance in the game? That'd be fun. Uh, Gabe obtains broken branch and we got stuff. All right, so let's build. I, I don't think there's romance, by the way. I'm just joking. All right, so we're going to build five torches, not just one. It's a lot of torches. What's up, Pippa? Got it. Where'd you find that torch? We made it. We're special like that. You didn't find it. You built it. Yeah, we did. Ah, so that's what building means. You picked up stuff from around here and somehow changed it into a torch, right? Thanks, I understand, sort of. Well, we didn't pick it up uh, as much as it was just given to us by a weird entity, but we got it. Hey, do you think you might be able to find anything with this? If you need any more, I'll see if I can find some. Okay. We got one broken branch. Maybe we get to keep a, tor a torch for ourselves. Wouldn't that be good? Alright. Okay, what do we need? Uh, blue goo. Oh, we can get blue goo over here, though. With these guys, probably. I forget their name. I know their name. I just forget. Whatever. Give me your blue goo. There you go. Got ourselves some blue goo. Let's go build myself a torch, because Peppa has five of them. Or, I have five of them. We don't need another torch. Blah. Okay, doesn't matter. Ooh, you have another quest? Peppa, man! Peppa coming through with all the quests. What's up? What else you got? I just realized something. You never told me your name. My name is Gabby. Gabe. <laughs> what kind of name is that? I don't know. I don't like it either. Uh, it doesn't sound like you'd have any special powers at all. But you can't judge someone by their name, right? Anyway, Gabe. Uh, you still got those torches you made, right? We should put one of them... Uh, put one in the house. Alright, I'll go do that. A room is complete if it has... Uh, walls, two blocks high, a door, and a source of light to stave off the darkness when the sun has set. So, uh... Roofs and uh, ceilings, not a thing, doesn't matter. Press X to place your creation whenever you, uh, wherever you wish. Go, my child, and place the torch. Okay. Wait, is this door open? Can I just go in? Yeah, I can. You said I can just press X at any moment. Boom. Thought you could put it on the wall. You gotta put it on the floor. Alright, we got ourselves some points. What's up, Pippa? You like your new house? I did it just for you. Brilliant! Now that it's all lit up, the room's perfect. It's a little small. You're amazing, Gabe. So I've heard. Um, you really do have special powers. It's hard to believe that someone who looks so dopey could be so talented. Thanks. Whew. Pippa, you're mean. But you can't judge someone by their appearance. Take note, guys. Anyway, thanks, Gabe. Now we have somewhere to live. Yeah. Well, she, we're basically married at this point. We have the seed of life. Okay, this is advancing a little too quickly. And it looks like we're kissing there. You see, guys see that? <laughs> All right. Let's see. What makes a room a room? For a room to be recognized, it must have walls at least two blocks high, a door, and a light source. If it doesn't have that, it's no room at all. Get a room, guys. All right, we're basically making out. We have a seed of life now, which I don't even know what that does. Um, this, this overworld is kind of weird. I don't know what the Seed of Life does. Okay. It's, um, uh, can we see this one? Yeah, we can. It's special. A scrumptious seed that grants a great vigor. Increases maximum HP by 5. Forever? I don't know if it's forever. I mean, we'll see. Um, I'm kind of liking this, though. The, the game's fun. Hey, Gabe. Thanks to you, we have such a lovely room. But uh, don't you think it'd be so much better if we had something to sleep on at night? I like where this is going, Pippa. Uh, beds are the best. I know. Maybe we could uh, build something. I like how, like, build is, like, such a weird word. Gabe, my child, you must gather materials that uh, you might fashion some bedding. Uh, should you place a bed in a room, you can sleep on it at any time, day or night, to restore your health. I'm all about sleeping. I love sleeping is... Naps? Man, don't even get me started with naps. Naps are the best. Uh, I would, it would be great if you could make... Uh, Two things to sleep on. 
If we had two beds, we could sleep next to each other. Okay, that works. This time, Gabe, I shall leave it to you. Thank you, please. This is actually what I was going to say. I kind of hope that they don't just give you materials for everything constantly. And I'm sure they don't do that in the game. It's just the intro and the tutorial. But all right, leave it to you. Uh, straw mattresses, young pip, uh, Pippa requests. Straw mattress can be constructed from uh, grassy leaves. To build one, you must first. Gabe, are you all right? We're very angry. Look at us. I'm all right. I'm just angry. We have an idea. Eureka, Gabe works out how to, oh, we, we learned. Um, basic bedding made from, okay, so we just learned, okay. Gotta find leaves though. I don't know where we find leaves. It's not a leaf, that's a branch. Okay, well, those are gonna be useful for us to heal. This is actually so cool. I'm liking this game an awful lot. Uh, um, I'm kind of, Hoping the full game comes out soon. Um, I'll, I'll check the full release date in a bit and give it to you guys, but... Huh. This is so interesting. And I didn't think I would like it, because honestly, like... I hear Dragon Quest, right, and I think of the more traditional RPGs that, that I played when I was a kid, and then I think Minecraft, which is kind of what this resembles, and that's, that's not where I want my Dragon Quest, but... Yeah, this is kind of fun. Uh, yes, the quests are, like, really basic right now, but I can see where this can go, like, in a very, like, entertaining... Uh, fashion, I guess. Um, I don't, I don't know how many of, of these, uh, of these greasy leaves we need. Uh, grassy leaves, not greasy. You do not want grease on your leaves. Trust me, guys. Um. I mean, I, I'll gather a few, I suppose. I, I don't know how many you need. I mean, maybe we only need the two. Who knows? Uh, you can also change the camera distance. Okay. Alright, so we're going to be able to build a whole bunch of creams for, for healing as well. I'm curious though, because these bats over here... They didn't give us any any crafting items before when we defeated some. Let's see if they give us some now. Oh, there's too many of y'all. I cannot fight this many of you guys. Run away! No, let's lead them away from Pippa. Pippa's her... her, 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 her she's her friend? We don't, we don't want her to get hurt. Alright. Um, also, we, we should probably make torches because whenever we build stuff, we want to claim a room. Uh, it's pretty much needed. Bone? Do you, can we break mushrooms? Yes, we can. Alright. First clump of mushrooms. Alright. I'm actually excited for this game now. This is so cool. Um, and anybody that has experience playing the game, obviously, leave me some tips in, in, in the comments and I'll get to them. Here, I, I do want to fight one of you. I can't fight six of you like there were earlier, but I'll fight, gladly fight one of you. I would love to have a better weapon. Oh, that dropped something. First grass seed. Okay. Do they only drop grass seeds or do, can they drop other things? Sometimes they don't even drop anything at all. Here, let's fight one of you again. No, stop running. Also, stop hurting me. Okay, okay, so they, they do drop random things, it seems like. I don't know, for now I'm just gathering materials, I suppose. Uh, let's go see if we can build those beds. Because we are running a little long here. But, like, I actually, I'm, I'm digging this, this is so cool. Can we, can we, I know uh, when we were in that, yes, we can build here. Ooh, but it seems like we, we can only craft the bed back uh, in our base. Let's see. And of course, we're going to build up our base and make it look way cooler. Hopefully, eventually have stone. But of course, this is the demo. So, I don't want to spend too much time on it. Uh, make two beds. I'm on it. I'm on it. Um, I, I am interested in maybe doing a handheld video for this, so let me know what you guys think about that. But we will build. She said to make two, so we got one. Okay, so we need three grass leaves. Okay, so we need a couple more. Sounds good. Um, but yeah, like, let me know if you guys want to see a handheld video, because that, I think, I feel like that could be cool. See how the game runs in handheld. Uh, I'll probably still check it out. I just got to see if you guys are interested in seeing that in video form. I'll probably do it. I don't know, now that I mentioned it, I suppose. Gotta find a couple more of those grassy, 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 the grassy. Whoever watched the grassy. Um. 
All right, I'm also gonna need a heal. Heal or not fight anymore, because I only have 13 health. Here, you guys have the grassy things. Sometimes. You also have branches. Crud. Okay, no, these are all just branches. Is it these that give me the grassy? Nothing lasts forever. Weapons and armor can only take so much punishment before the break. Make sure you build... Yeah, we'll, we'll build another one. It's okay. We're not very far from our base. And we keep finding branches, so we'll be quite all right. Okay, so actually let's build a, another... Wait, grassy? Grassy? Gra yes, there we go. There we go. We're good. And here we can build everything we need. All right. Ooh, Ogan Club. Yeah, let's equip that. We'll equip that in a minute. Now we can make the straw mattress. Now we have two of those, like she requested. And uh, let's heal. So, can we build more than one at a time? Oh, yes, we have a make as many as possible button. Yeah, sure. Oh, we have nine. All right, so we're going to be good on that. Okay. Am I supposed to go put them down? Wait, will they fit? How big are these things? She said she wanted to sleep, like... I don't know if it matters, but she did mention, like, sleeping next to each other. Here, let's clear that out first. I mean... Sh sure. Literally next to each other. His first basic bedroom. Great. So, uh, bedroom sleeping quarters uh, for two, made for the most modest materials. Increase maximum HP by 10%. Cool. Okay, Pippa's excited. Ooh, give me that. Wow, you built us something to sleep on. Thank you, Gabe. You're welcome. Uh, whether it's a night or day, you can sleep on any bed that is within a room to recover your health. As the sun sets, the darkness will close in around you and more powerful monsters emerge in force. Uh, when night falls, you would do well to return to your base, rest your head upon a pillow, and sleep until morning. It's kind of nighttime. Gabe, my child, you discovered the means to build a straw mattress all by yourself. Yeah, I'm cool like that. In addition uh, to the power to create uh, that I bestowed onto you, it seems you also bear the special skill to discern uh, what can be made from the materials you find. This is a wondrous power you have. It shall no doubt provide, uh, prove invaluable to you in your quest to rebuild this city. Hi. Was the goddess speaking to you? Yeah. Uh, you were staring off into space uh, with your mouth open again. <laughs> do I do that often? Uh, you got to pay more attention to what's going on around you, Gabe. <laughs> yeah, so I've heard. If you keep spacing out like that, you'll never get anything done. <laughs> Yo, this game, this game makes a little bit too much uh, fun of me, and it's kind of accurate. Uh, Gabe begins to feel time uh, passing by. Okay, we got a couple broken branches. Alright, so whether you're collecting materials or building rooms, uh, time is always on the move. Eventually, night will fall and another day will dawn. You can check what time it is on the clock in the top right corner of the screen. Okay, I'm gonna sleep. Yes, we are asleep it was. And there we have it! That's Shrine Quest Builders, the demo, out now on eShop. Um, it's not on the American eShop, it's on the European eShop. Uh, Pippa has another quest for us, but we're going to wait and save on that. Uh, speaking of saving, I would like to save. Can I save? I don't know. Let's assume it's, there's autosave. I don't We'll see. Uh, regardless, thank you guys for joining me for Dragon Quest Builders. This game's actually kind of neat. Uh, I'm excited now for the full release. Uh, for now, demo available. European eShop. I'm sure it's coming to the North American eShop a little bit later. There was mention of it uh, during the direct. So let me know what you guys think in the comment below. And we will catch you on the next one. My name has been Gabe. Brought that back for you guys one time. Just because I don't know. I thought about it. So we'll see. You. We'll see you guys soon. Switch Force out.